Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends X-Men Retro Wave Iceman figure. So before we take a look at Iceman, let's take a look at the only accessory that he comes with, his ice slide. Now I think this has some really nice sculpt detail to it, and I really like the color that it's in. I feel like that's the color they should have used for Iceman himself, that bluish color, or that pearlescent white that has that bluish tone to it. But um, other than that, I'm really not a fan of this ice slide. I don't feel like it's nearly big enough for him. It just has one peg pegged into his right foot. And then you just put him on it. I think uh, on the promo shots, he's standing like that. But I kind of wanted to get him on it, you know? But you really can't do that the greatest. And if you do, he's going to look like that. I don't know, I feel like if, if it would have been bigger, it would have looked, looked a lot better. I feel like it's just a little bit too small to be his ice slide. So yeah, I do feel like his accessory is slightly disappointing. It would have been nice to get him like with some open hands like that. You know, that way it's, it's like he's making the ice slide. That would have looked really awesome. But they did not do that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So the head sculpt for this figure looks really good. I, I can't tell. Is this the Vance Astro head? I want to say that this is just the Vance Astro head reused. Or the uh, the Target 3-pack Vision head. But then, from certain angles, like from this angle, it looks like the Vance Astro head. But straight on, it looks like a new head sculpt. So I'm not sure if that's a, a new head sculpt. But the eyes came out really clean. And then they have this uh, blue outline to them. I think that looks really good. It's just a really small detail, but I think it looks nice. And this is the the um, the Sunfire body mold, so you know it, it's going to have all that basic articulation, and all that good stuff. But uh, this time he's done in like a pearlescent white, and it has like right here it kind of looks like it has some purple to it, like a purplish tone. And it also looks like it has some silver to it as well. So there's a lot of different tones going on here. Like on his arms, I feel like there's some a little bit of purple mixed in there. And then on his torso, I feel like it's done in like a silverish kind of color. It's very shimmery. Um, I feel like it kind of looks a little more like Silver Surfer since it has like that silver shimmer to it mixed in with that pearlescent white. But it would have been nice if they would have uh, made him like this color, like the pearlescent white mixed with some light blue. That would have looked really good. Which this is still a good figure. I just think it's kind of odd that they went with that like uh, pearlescent white mixed with a little bit of silver like that glittery silver right there and then he has his x belt which i think this is new i don't remember seeing this on another figure though if you want to swivel his waist mine was down like this you have to slide it up above his waist that way you can get his articulation there and then there's his legs and like a certain way light hits it it almost looks like a different color like a certain way the light hits it looks purple a certain way the light hits it looks like a silver but yeah I, I do like how they did the different colors but I would have preferred it done in blue so that's really all about uh, about all to go over with this figure so now let's go over the articulation he has a ball jointed head that can look back all the way he can look down all the way he can move his head side to side he has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way he has butterfly joints, swivel side to side. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, swivel thread that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way, and he can crunch forward all the way. He has swivel at the waist that can move side to side. It is kind of a crunchy joint, and like I said, you will have to slide that belt up if you want to get the articulation out of it, because if you have it down like that, then you, you can kind of do that, but you'll stretch the belt out. Um, he has ball jointed hips that can move out that far. He can kick forward all the way. He can't really kick back that far. He has swiveled the thigh, double jointed knee, swiveled the shin, swiveled the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker. So now, let's do some size comparisons here. Okay. So, first up, here he is next to the Toy Viz. I think this is a Series 4. Iceman. I forget which way of Marvel Legends this is from, but 
Man, this, this Iceman has definitely not held up over time. His torso was just really huge and the rest of his body was small. And he was done in like a translucent color and they painted some different colors over it. But as you can see from time, the that translucent color is kind of yellow. But yeah, I'm definitely replacing this guy because as you can see, his torso is just very floppy. So there he is next to the horrible Toy Biz version. Here he is next to the Juggernaut Wave Iceman, and this is Modern Iceman. And I was wondering if you could, the collars won't match up of course, but I was wondering if you could swap the hands out here, give him an open hand. Oops. Let's, uh, let's see. Nah, that's a different type of peg. Um, so yeah, if, if you wanted to switch those out, you can't because this one has that weird kind of peg to it. So that's a bummer. I really wish he just would have came with some alternate hands to begin with. That would have been really nice since he's super light on the accessories. So yeah, I mean you could probably force him in there, but then his regular hands won't go back in if you do that. Here he is next to Bishop. And Bishop is way taller than him. He is kind of slouching forward though because that's kind of the way I have him posed so it'll stand. So there he is next to Bishop. And finally, here he is next to Archangel. So, overall, I think Iceman is a really good figure. Um, he's definitely way better than the previous Toy Biz version. However, I do have some problems with it. Like, I wish they would have uh, done in kind of like a bluish hue instead of like that purple and silver. And I also think it would have been nice to give him some alternate hands. It may be a bigger slide, but still, it's it's definitely a, a much better improvement over the Toy Biz one, and we need this uh, on the road to complete our 90s X-Men team, so I would highly recommend picking him up. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.